Hello friends, welcome back to yet another video by Practical Ninjas. Thanks for all your support. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to stay updated on the new videos by Practical Ninjas. In the previous videos in this series, we learned about the PLC and relays. Before proceeding and understanding how sensors and actuators are wired to the input-output modules of PLC, we need to understand the concept of sourcing and syncing. This is required to appropriately select the sensors, actuators, as well as the I.O. cards of the PLC in the project. Consider the circuit diagram shown here. We can see a power source and a switch and a lamp in series with it. When the switch is closed, current flows to the circuit and the lamp turns on. As we can observe, current first enters the switch and then the lamp. Here, switch is the sourcing type. Now, let us modify this circuit a bit. Let us first connect the lamp to the power source and then connect the switch in series. In this circuit, when we close the switch, the lamp turns on. However, here, the current first enters the lamp and then the switch. Here, the switch acts as a sinking type and the current sinks in the switch. The same terminology is used to denote the sinking or sourcing types of input or output modules of a PLC or a controller. If one has understood the circuit diagrams explained, it would be clear that if a sensor is sourcing type, then the input module required would be a sinking type. If the sensor is a sinking type, then the module would be a sourcing type. When the sensor gives a true condition, it acts as a closed switch and in false condition, it acts as an open switch. In the figure shown, the input module is a sinking type. Here, the V-positive of all sensors will be connected to V-positive point on the module and output of different sensors will be connected to the individual points on the input module. When a sensor is triggered, current first flows into the sensor as shown in the animation and then into the input module. Hence, the input module acts as a sinking type. The same analogy can be used for a sourcing type input module. When using a sourcing type input module, care should be taken to connect the common of all the sensors to the ground terminal of the module. Understanding this concept of sourcing and syncing will help us to select the sensors and actuators properly for the project as well as the I.O. module of a PLC. Hope you have learned something new and enjoyed the video. Hit the like button and share the video with your friends. Stay calm and keep learning. Peace out.